What's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, just picking up where we left off last time. I've just made my sort of makeshift half-assed uh, seat frame for the Chris Cedar rail, which I'm not happy with. Um, and I do plan on buying some more flat bar and remaking it. But um, basically, if you wanted to make something like that out of say three mil flat bar, it's to get a pan brake that's gonna bend three mil flat bar is uh, very expensive. You know, cheap pan brakes don't really bend anywhere near that as far as um, thickness goes. Uh, but what I do have and what most workshops do have is a shop press. So what I plan on doing at the moment is uh, making up a bit of a jig um, out of some angle and some box and some pipe to allow us to basically start bending up some thicker rebar, just some, some flat bar. Uh, obviously it's gonna be handy for me wanting to make my, my seat rails for one. Also, it's handy for uh, like making uh, jerry can holders for trailers or or anything like that. It's um it's pretty handy being able to bend up rebar pretty accurately. So there's plenty you can make with it. So that's what I plan on doing at the start of this episode is just uh, knocking up something like that. So what I've got here, I found some pipe which I've taken the verniers down to the scrap pile, and uh, the ID of this pipe is pretty much perfect for the the press pin to fit in. So that should be perfect for the press pin to go inside of. I've got some angle here um, and some just some 50 mil box. So the plan is to cut off a bit of angle, uh, weld it into the, or recess it into the box so it's got some, some nice structural rigidity so that it's uh, basically a perfect 90 flat in the box, like so. And uh, then take another bit of angle and basically weld it to the bottom of this pipe so that you can sit that up on the, on the press shelf and press this bit of angle straight down into the other bit of angle that's gonna be in the box. And that should be able to, you should pretty much just to press it all the way in to get a 90 degree bend if you wish. And uh, that's gonna be real handy with us uh, making stuff out of flat bar. So that's the plan, that's what I'm gonna do. sort of see the gist of what's going on that's your base that gets somewhat recessed into that so it's straight up and down like so basically on its perfect 45 45 each side so the 90 straight down uh, this will go into the press pin and uh, basically that will be straight up and down not on its own side like that so that'll be straight up and down like so so you'll be able to press it into the center and bend it up so just got to double check that this is the right diameter for the press pin. I'm actually going to cut this down. I don't know. I have no idea why I made it so long. Cut it down to like probably 80 mil-ish. That's a bit better. Anyway, that's hot now. So I'm just going to use this bit of off cut to make sure it fits on the press pin. Perfect. Bloody perfect. All right. Beautiful. Love when things work every now and then. All right. So what I'm going to do here is just mark halfway on my bit of box. Now I'm just gonna mark that with a square. Doesn't have to be perfectly center, just around about. I'm gonna mark that on three sides. So now, I don't wanna sit this all the way down because then you gotta have welds right on the edge. Also, it's sort of too far down, you lose too much rigidity in the steel. So basically you wanna fuck it, you basically pretty much just wanna set it See where it's around about where you think you want it. And just measure your height. Now using this measurement, you can pretty much figure out how far down you need to recess it. Which says here 23 mil-ish. 22 mil odd. So then what I'm gonna do is measure up from the top of the box and mark, mark on the line at my 22 mil odd. So that's how far down your bit of angle is going to be recessed in. From there take your 45 on your square and basically just move it in until you're on the your, your mark you made for how deep you want it. Line that up, do the same for the other side. 
and that should be pretty well your perfect 40, uh, your perfect 90 degree angle to sit that in the box. Make sure you get it straight. So there you have what is going to be the cutout to sit the angle in. So all I'm going to do here is get a drill bit, drill a hole through each one of those marks, and then basically use a grinder, just a battery grinder to grind it out. So there you have it, that's your cutout. Bit of angle is going to sit in there quite nice. Looks good. Right, so as a lot of you probably know, Gal is a real bitch to weld. Uh, you would have seen it in the last episode where I actually tried to weld that seat frame together. Gal's just a real pain in the ass. So you really got to make sure you clean it up. You got to get all the Gal off the steel, all the Gal coating, because uh, it just doesn't work. It's a pain in the ass. So I've just put this uh, bit of angle in center for me, and I'm just going to mark whereabouts I'm going to weld so I know where to clean it up because you don't want to spend all day cleaning up where you don't have to clean up, you just want to clean up your welds where you have to clean up. So, just mark that out and um, then clean that up on either the bench grinder or user grinder, whatever you need to do. Um, I find actually flappy wheel seems to be a lot quicker or even a grinding stone on a, on a, on a angle grinder than the stone on the bench grinder, but we'll give it a go. Also, you just want to clean off all the paint and stuff off your black metal too, that's just coating to protect it. There we have our base piece pretty much cleaned up, ready to be welded. That's good. So now it's time for the actual other piece I'm going to do. So this is going to be the part that's actually going to bend it. When it's going to come down, it's going to bend it. Um, so what I actually will do, because I'm pretty sure if I just weld it and butt it up like that, eventually I'm pretty sure this bit of angle is going to bend out with the pressure of pushing down on the press. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, again make basically a recess in this piece. Um, and just recess it in and give it a little bit more structural rigidity um, coming down on that pin so that's that's what I plan on doing here so this one is a bit easier to measure up and do because it's a 90 degree uh, when it's straight 90 it's pretty easy so all I want to do is check about how far I want to recess it into the piece so that's going to be about 26 call it 25 mil ish let's mark it that's easy got a mark there and uh, get your set square because of what it is I sort of want it to be maybe just over the center so I'll stand that straight up and just use the square to get sort of just over center I'll mark that off there with the square that's going to be uh, your waist there so I'm just going to cut straight down with the grinder and then just cut into it until it meets it there. So same thing here where you want to mark your areas of gal where you need to clean up. So there you have it guys, that's the next piece that's ready to be welded. Uh, the only other thing I am going to do is I'm actually going to put a bit of an edge on this, the part that's obviously meant to go down into the angle. Uh, just to give it sort of a bit of a, a bit of a point so that it can really get down there and get a good bend on it. So you can see there I've given that just a bit of a point. That's just going to give us some nice accurate bends hopefully. Hopefully. So basically ready to start tacking this all together. So that's pretty much it guys, there you have it. A bit rusty on the welder and it's a real pain in the ass with gal. Doesn't seem to matter how much you clean it up, you always get like a little bit of gal when you get onto the gal piece and then it sort of just, um, yeah, you lose your pull as soon as you hit it, it's a real pain in the ass. But anyway, um, that's what I got and I made it. It's gonna do the job, it's not beautiful, but uh, yeah, should be effective. So now I just flick a coat of paint on that and uh, we'll be testing it out. 
as soon as I get some steel ready, which should be very soon. Thank you.